Welcome to our tech troubleshooting series. Today, we're tackling a puzzling issue that many Laravel developers encounter. Our viewer is facing an error that states, class post tag table seeder does not exist, even though the file is indeed present with the correct class name. Let's dive into this conundrum and uncover the possible reasons behind this frustrating error. Okay, we're back with another tech video. Now I'm gonna go through your question, answer it, and hopefully you get the solution. Now remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me and you'll get there to that resolution. All right, let's continue on to the video. The error message indicates that the post tag table seeder class does not exist, even though you have confirmed that the file is present. Let's troubleshoot this issue step by step. First, ensure that the file is located in the correct directory. The post tag table seeder should be in the seeds folder. Verify that the path is seeds post tag table seeder .php. Next, check the class name and ensure it matches the file name. The class name should be exactly post tag table seeder, including case sensitivity. Additionally, make sure that the database seeder file is correctly calling the post tag table seeder class. Look for the line that calls it and ensure it is spelled correctly. Finally, if everything seems correct, try running the composer dump autoload command. This will regenerate the autoload files and may resolve the issue. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're facing an issue where your class table seeder seems to be missing, try regenerating Composer's autoloader. You can do this with the dump autoload command. After running that command, you can use the dbseed artisan command to seed your database successfully. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're using Laravel 8 and facing the issue where your class table seeder seems to not exist, here's what you need to do. First, make sure to namespace your seeder classes correctly under Database Seeders. Next, import your seeder classes with the correct namespace. Then, update your Composer JSON file by removing the class map block from the autoload section. After that, run Composer Dump to refresh the autoload files. Lastly, ensure that your database seeds directory is renamed to database seeders. This change is documented in the Laravel upgrade guide, so you can refer to that for more details. And that's it guys. We've gone through, found the solutions, and hopefully answered your query. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, hope you have a good one. Cheers.